Mitchell Trubisky last night. I know that we, we, you know, we have to have this reaction. We got to jump in. Here's my hot take. And Mitchell Trubisky is the franchise there. I still haven't seen enough, obviously. I think the preseason kind of raised the bar. I expected him to be really good last night. He wasn't. But there's enough there that I saw mobility, what they did with the pocket with him. They had penalties and drop passes. But it looked like he knew what he – he looked like a starting quarterback. Not a franchise quarterback, but a starting quarterback. What is your litmus test where you go, okay, now I got a pretty good idea of how good this guy is? You know, Watson started that first game in Cincinnati on like four days rest and did next to nothing through the air. He made that one play and won the game. And everyone was like, well, no, he looked the part and there was juice. That's how I look at it, the juice. The building was alive – They're coming off that Cubs win. Everyone was excited. And Kendall, right after the game, said, yeah, there's definitely an it factor. There's something there. Glennon's a nice kid. I sound like I'm being degrading (laughs) to Glennon. Nice guy. Can play in the NFL. But this is the it factor. And when they traded up to get Trubisky, I think a lot of Bears fans were outraged by that. And were like, why would we do that? We just got Glennon. I think you see why. Now there's a succession plan. There's a future. I think Trubisky has it. And it's going to be interesting to watch. You're talking about the 2011 draft. Watson, Mahomes. Trubisky, Kaiser, how are we going to chart these guys the next few years? I think Trubisky's in the least advantageous situation. He doesn't have a number one receiver. I think that's the 32nd wide receivers room in the league. Like, I don't think there's yeah. any yeah. NFL starting talent in Chicago at receiver. I want to see how Trubisky develops knowing that he doesn't have the weapons that the other guys do. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs>